The Book of Negroes is a historical fiction novel written by Lawrence Hill and published in 2007. It tells the story of a woman named Aminata Diallo, commencing with her childhood in slavery and finishing as she writes her memoir in 19th century London. Aminata is an 11-year-old girl who is stolen from her village in Bayo, Africa and sold into the slave trade. She is marched in a coffle for three months, experiences the horrors and filth of slave ships, and is eventually sold to a man named Robinson Appleby, who owns an indigo plantation in South Carolina. She faces many adversities through her journey, such as rape, beatings, and deaths. The story continues as she is sold to another owner, attempts escape, is sent to Nova Scotia, and becomes an abolitionist and free woman in London. Lawrence Hill's The Book of Negroes is extremely powerful because it does not solely focus on the throes of slavery, but rather the strength and resilience that the protagonist, Aminata, possesses. There are many significant characters found throughout the novel, but the most significant ones are found from Aminata's childhood to adolescence. The first being Aminata, the resolute and strong protagonist as well as the novel's narrator. She lived with her family in Bayo, was enslaved at age 11, and now resides in London as a free black woman. Aminata's father, he is a thoughtful and caring man who never raised a hand on Aminata. He is extremely knowledgeable, taught Aminata Arabic prayers, and attempted to educate her, which women in her village were often not given the privilege of. He is a full bay man, which is a tribe near Bayo. Aminata's mother. She is a midwife who taught her techniques to Aminata, which aided her in finding work at Solomon Lindo's plantation, as well as assisting enslaved women in the coffle. She is a loving and attentive mother who died, who died while protecting Aminata when she was first kidnapped into slavery. She is a Bamana woman who moved to Bayo with Aminata's father. Chakura. He is Aminata's friend in the coffle and later her first love. He secretly wed Aminata at Robinson Appleby's Indigo Plantation, as well as later fathering her first child, Mamadou, named after Aminata's father. Georgia, a motherly figure who lived with Aminata at Rab Robinson Appleby's plantation. She taught Aminata about the power of herbs and their healing properties, and used this to save Aminata's life during childbirth and fever. Mohamed, he is the head servant at Robinson Appleby's plantation. He taught Aminata how to speak and read English, and is one of the only few staff members who was not cruel to Aminata. Robinson Appleby. He is the cruel owner of the Indigo Plantation in Carolina. He raped Aminata and sold her child, which was not fathered by him. He later sold Aminata to Solomon Lindo after she refused to do work in the wake of her son's kidnapping. Solomon Lindo. A rich and compassionate man who labels Aminata a servant, not a slave. He introduces accounting and cartography to Aminata, which she learns and then uses to help him in his business. He takes her to New York on a business trip, where she then runs away. Lawrence Hill's The Book of Negroes perfectly illustrates the complexity of personal growth in times of adversity. Aminata's journey of personal growth is not delayed or diminished during slavery, and is rather attained through her appetite for increased knowledge, perseverance through extreme hardships, and powerful independency. Supporting Argument 1 Aminata's appetite for increased knowledge presents monumental effects on her personal growth through the realization that the accomplishment of preset goals leads to self-betterment, and also that learning language is rewarding as she is able to communicate with more people and thus form friendships that shape her as a person. Evidence from text. Aminata is stolen from her village of Bayo at age 11 and is fluent in Bamanankan and Fafulde. She is also able to recite her father's Arabic prayers. When she arrives on Robinson Appleby's indigo plantation, she makes the realization that her fellow slaves do not speak the languages from her homeland, they speak English. Her desire to learn is noticed by Robinson Appleby's head servant, Mohamed, and he formally introduces English reading and writing to her. Sometimes, when nobody was looking, I would climb high up a tree in the woods and practice reading the words that Mohamed had written out for me. Once I could manage cat, dog, lion, water, father, and the like, I moved on quickly to new challenges. Mohamed knew how to keep my interest. The language came together like pieces of a secret, and I wanted more of it every day. Hill, page 191. Aminata's desire to learn is fueled by Mohamed, and her new com comprehension of the English language also introduces significant people into her life, such as Georgia, who embraces Aminata as her own and protects her unrelentingly. The coalescence of her improved skill set and the people she is able to communicate with catalyzes Aminata's personal growth, because she continuously accomplishes her academic pursuits and because she is able to encounter and speak with significant people that help shape her as a person. Supporting Argument 2. Aminata's endurance of extreme hardships contributes to her personal growth via the resilience and strength she gains as well as her desire to become a jelly. Evidence from text. Aminata has gone through tremendous adversities within her life, such as the murders of her parents before she is stolen into the slave trade. She experiences deaths, the foulness of the ship she is traveling on, rape, and enslavement, which does not even begin to cover all the serial adversities she encounters. However, Aminata's resilience improves as she continuously encounters afflictive circumstances and she is able to develop immense mental strength and perseverance. 
She is also encouraged by her ambition to be a jelly, which in her village is a highly respected storyteller who collects stories from their lifetime. In the flickering light, I could see him striking the motionless body attached to him, foot to foot. I shivered and wanted to scream. No, I told myself. Be a jelly. See and remember. Hill, page 85. Aminata's desire to be a jelly, as well as her collected strength and resilience, powerfully aids her in her personal growth and allows her to overcome whatever misfortunes she encounters throughout her life. Supporting argument three. Aminata's endurance of past hardships also coincides with the construction of her powerful independency. Aminata's unrelenting independency contributes to her personal growth due to the relationship she strengthens with herself, and it is established through the trust she instills in herself and her decisions, as well as her ability to overcome hardships through the self-stability and self-comfort she develops. Evidence from text. Aminata initially learns that she is the only one she can trust due to an incident she experiences on the slave transportation ship. When Aminata is first taken into slavery, aboard the ship there is a Tubab who takes an interest in her. He allows her to sleep in his bed instead of the grimy floors of the ship where the slaves are kept. He seems to do it in good faith, until one night, he attempts to touch Aminata's lower back while in the bed. She rejects him, and her image of him changes completely. She also bears witness to the rapes he executes on other enslaved women. Ever since the encounter with the Tubab, Aminata learns to be cautious in where she lays her trust. She learns that she can always trust herself, and thus begins the powerful, independent relationship she has with herself. This establishment of trust also coincides with the stable foundation she is able to construct. It creates powerful independency because Aminata is her own support group and her own comforter, and because of this, as the hardships continue, she can repair her grief herself, building self-reliance and self-stability. This, in effect, proves Aminata's ability to overcome hardships through independency because she finds comfort in herself, and the only stability she can trust and assure is found within her. Aminata's independency in times of adversity and the trust she instills in herself and her decisions strengthens her relationship with herself and thus increases her personal growth. The Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill is a masterfully created historic novel that accentuates on the powerful growth of protagonist Aminata as she navigates her newly enslaved life. Personal growth is a challenging process that every human encounters, and the length and circumstances of this development varies but is equally important for each person. Aminata's personal growth is attained even in the throes of slavery, through her desire to learn and increase knowledge, her perseverance through challenging hardships, and the resulting product of powerful independency that she possesses. The challenge of personal growth is prevalent in the maturation of every human being. Aminata Diallo accomplishes it, proving that although complex, especially in afflictive circumstances, personal growth can be achieved.